What is up everyone and welcome back to another episode guys. I am here in my sister's room right now and I am with the rescue dog that we got from behind the dumpster and I also have those green iguanas that I caught in the bucket trap and I actually have six of them here. We caught five in the trap. I ended up catching another one by hand but today is the day. We are going to be pranking my sister with them. We're going to be putting these in her bathroom. Um, she should be here in literally about two minutes. So I mean guys she is going to probably I don't know her reaction. She's either going to be like, oh my gosh, she's like funny, or she's going to be like really pissed. So this is where I'm going to be releasing these iguanas. I mean, this is going to be absolutely epic. I'm just going to put them on the floor. And now I made sure there wasn't any crevices, you know, up underneath here that, you know, they could get under, get stuck. We don't want to hurt these little guys at all. But I mean, guys, okay, let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, she's going to be oh so mad. Now guys, I'm not abusing these animals. They're literally going to be in here for like, I don't know, 10 minutes max. And it's pretty warm in here. It's probably about 80 degrees. I'm going to actually put a couple in. Whoa, what the heck? All right, you guys stay there. You're calm and you're calm. I'm going to put two of these actually in her shower just because it's going to be pretty funny. Here you go, buddy. There you go, guys. Bye. You know, now that we got these iguanas inside of her bathroom in the shower, the only thing we have to do is wait. She's literally going to be here any minute now. Mom, you know where Hannah is? Yeah, I got no answer there, but she should be here, like I said, in about two minutes. Okay, guys, they're here, and they literally have no idea <laughs> what I'm about to do to them. And I know her friends are definitely, like, so scared of these iguanas. Yeah. Hannah, Hannah, the dog is giving birth, and it's, it's for the video, I swear. Are you I swear, in the bathroom, yeah. Shut up. I swear. You're such a liar. <laughs> I'm not lying. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not, I promise. Your bathroom. <laughs> Hers. Hannah's bathroom. What are these? Listen, Don't. No! Are they nice? Yeah. My shower. <laughs> <laughs> are they nice? Um, right, go pick one up. I got you food. Thank you. Take that. Thank you. You're so nice. Uh, Wanna bite me? No. Hannah, grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. <laughs> Just grab it. It's not gonna do anything. What are you? No, scared I of? can't. She's gonna attack me. There's like six of them here, Hannah. Where did you get them from? I caught them. <laughs> ah, stop! Where are the other ones? All right, we gotta find these other iguanas. I mean, I don't know where they. Okay. Where'd you get them? Uh, I caught them. Why are they nice? Because Hannah, they're... please! Why are they in my bathroom? Uh, Hannah, because I wanted to... One, two, three, four. There's two more in here that got lost. One's behind the shampoo. All right, you're coming. Oh, All right, Hannah, grab that, grab that, grab that. Tails are freaking disgusting. Really? <laughs> that one's eyes are closed. No, dead. please don't. Please don't. Why not? They're they're friends. No. That one's blind or something. No, he's just closing his eyes. Oh no, he has his friend's claws in right? his eyes. No. You want them to chase you? You know, I'm here eating right now and she literally just walks in with iguanas all over her. Are these your children now? Yeah. Yeah. They are. They are Matilda, Fred, Jane, and Rufus. Matilda, Fred, Jane, and Rufus, but we're missing two names. Two? Yeah, there's six iguanas. No, there's five. No, there's six. Oh, uh, there's six? Yeah, yeah. six. Oh, well, so what are well, the other two? Cliff, do you have any recommendations? No. <laughs> oh, what do we name them, though? What, what do we name them? John and Bob. John and Bob. So we have Matilda, Jane, Rufus, Bob, and John. <laughs> that works. Milo, what is, what is that? What is that thing? What is that? Milo doesn't know what that is. Wait, wait, let's, let's look. Wait. Which, which name is this one? Matilda. Matilda. Jacob! See, she's not even scared of it. Oh, I had an incident in the bathroom with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, won't you? Okay. He's not gonna go anywhere, I promise. I its know. tongue is uncomfortable. Why? It's cute. Milo, what is this thing? Oh, what is that? Milo, see, Milo's even scared of it. He's like, no, no, get away from me. Eat it. 
Sit, Milo, sit. You can sniff him. Are you nervous? He's drooling because he's nervous. He doesn't know what this is. So I was finally able to, you know, wrestle up these little baby green iguanas. We have all five of them. The sixth one went with my sister's friend. Her brother has iguanas. He wanted one. So I said, you know what? Take it. But I just wanted to show you guys. I moved the radiated tortoises inside, you know. I just wanted to make sure I can, you know, control their temperature, humidity, all that, because these little baby tortoises are pretty delicate. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Soon I'm gonna be setting up an entire rack system right here. So everything you see right here, like this same exact rack, we have another one that's up in the attic and we're gonna be putting it right here. We already have this rack system right here which is going to go where the desk is. The desk is going goodbye. You know, I originally had planned to put the rack here, but the rack is gonna stick out to like right here. And then when I have tubs like this, you can see it already sticks out like, you know, six, seven inches. So it would literally be sticking out to here and it would be blocking the doorway. So we do not want that to happen. So the rack is going to go right up here. It's finally time to get these little guys back out into their enclosure. You know, I actually have a buddy of mine that's picking up the rest of them later today, but I'm not gonna hold them till then. So here you go, guys. Here you go, climb up the screen. So now that those iguanas are in the cage, I wanna give all of you guys an update on the radiated tortoise. You know, I've been getting a ton of comments, so I just wanna say thank you guys so much for all the support, all the prayers you're saying for him because Right now he's got like a 50-50 chance of living, you know. I wanted to get him out from the outside just because it's really humid and when it goes from hot to cold to dry to humid, it's really not good for a respiratory infection now. I was not excited about bringing him in here. Obviously I have a lot of other animals in here that if it was cross-contaminated, it could very well spread to other animals. But I have talked with, you know, many keepers, breeders, people that work at zoos, and some of them have told me that they have had no problem keeping sick animals in the same room as long as nothing was cross-contaminated, you know? So I've been giving him soaks. He does have a heat lamp on him. Reason why I keep this heat lamp on him is because that heat lamp is keeping his body, you know, at a solid 90 to 95 degrees. If he gets right over there, he can get warmer, but you wanna keep him very warm, you know, especially when he's sick because that's gonna help cook the infection out of him as well as the antibiotics. His appetite has been, eh, hasn't been the greatest, but you know, he's still eating a little bit every day, which is good. If he were to stop eating, it's almost a definite sign, you know, that he's gonna pass away. And check this out. So far we've pulled three baby Baker I only got one, two, and I think the third one is right there. What's up, buddy? Come on, go move around. Go that way, go that way so I can put the hide back. Yep, thank you. So there's actually a fourth one inside of the incubator. You know, I saw it through the glass. You can see its little body. So I'm going to pull him out right now. See if he needs to sit. See if he needs to sit for a little longer. But yeah, you can't, you can't tell through there. Look at him. He's so cute. He just came out of the egg today. Oh man, dude, you're going to mess up all the other ones in there, buddy. Whoa. You know, one of the reasons why you got to get him out fairly quickly is a lot of times they'll run around and they could kick up the other eggs and you know mess them up oh my gosh look there's another one popping his head out right there and then we have this guy right here buddy don't run and this little guy tried to book it on me buddy this is not my first go around i know i know all the moves what you little babies try to do as soon as you come out the egg but just look at this little one right here he's just starting to uh pip through the egg. I'll show you that in a second, but let's go put this little guy in his new cage. Here you go, buddy. Go be with your brothers and your sisters. Uh, man, these guys are so quick when they're small. I mean, just look at them. Try to look at them. They're like little lightning bolts. That guy's like the little runt. You know, he was born smaller. Just look at him compared to this one. I mean, he'll, he'll be okay though. He's just a little tiny. I want you guys to see just how cool this is. I'm going to pick them up. You know, when they're just starting to come out of the egg like this, it's perfectly fine to pick them up but just look at them oh my gosh this is probably one of the coolest moments for me as a reptile keeper and of all other animals is raising an animal up or even if you get them as adults and just watching these little babies hatch out you know once you have a successful breeding project it's just insane 
getting these little babies. And that, my friends, is all I got for you guys today. I hope all of you guys did enjoy watching today's video. You know, I had an absolute blast doing this. And guys, PSA, there was no harming of animals in the making of this production. There was no lizards harmed, so I promise if things looked crazy, there was absolutely no lizards harmed at all. And guys, if you enjoyed this video, comment down below what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the fam already, it's the first link down below.